Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Now we will begin with the end of term revision videos for the term 2 exam. Before we begin, let's go through the exam scheme. You have three parts this time. The first part will have 10 questions. Each of the questions will carry only three marks. These are supposed to be easier type of questions, you know. It will not be in-depth. It's easy to solve. And all of this will be in the computer itself, in the Swift SS. Whereas even the part two will be in the computer. And each question will carry five marks. So these are the ones. They are supposed to be a little bit more harder than the top ones. So we will go through all of them one by one. But the last part over here is all writing. You will have total five questions. The two are bonus. The three mentioned questions will be in writing. So these will carry the most marks per question. So it will be about six to seven per question. Now this is the scheme. I hope you already have gone through the revision presentation. I have included all the example uh, questions mentioned in this exam scheme. The same question may not appear in the exam, but the similar type of question. You know, if you understand the method, it'll be very easy for you to solve it. So now then, let's move on to the first topic. It is about multiplying matrices. There are plenty of ways. So I will quickly tell you through a few of the methods. Now, this these videos may not include all the detailed explanation which was done in the class. So you can go through a you must have remembered some of the methods in the class were long but now i will try to you know go through the shortcut methods the calculator methods or if need be the long methods also the easiest way to solve so now the first 20 part one and part two are all in computer so you will have four options mcqs so there are many ways to solve it not only the long method you can even sometimes you know, do shortcut methods and solve it. So I might use those methods to explain over here. So whichever you find easy, if you like the long method or whichever is taught to you in school, uh, follow that method, whichever is easier. So now over here to multiply matrices, it can be done in calculator or the direct method. I'll teach you both because some problems cannot be solved with the calculator. That's why. Before we begin matrices, we must know what are the rows and columns of matrix. Now, over here, you can see from the left side when you start, this is the first element, right? Now, this is the first row and this one is the second row. These are the rows. Whereas a column is something that is vertical. See, the first column, second column, third column. So now, when we write the dimension of a matrix, it's always rows and columns. It has one, two, Whereas three columns, two rows, I'll write two cross three, that is three columns. Now you might have figured it over here. It is one, two, and three rows that will be written first, and next will be written the columns. It's one and two, two columns. So this is how we write the rows and columns. Now, before multiplying, you need to look into this dimensions of the matrix. You must look at the, if this is the first matrix you're considering to be multiplied, look at its second uh, dimension, that is the columns. This number should match this number. That is the columns in the first matrix must match the rows in the first matrix, second matrix, I'm sorry. So there are many methods. Now I will tell you one other easy method to remember, which I generally use. I always draw a line over here on the top and line over here so it's like you know it's not a t it's an inverted l so i always do that now does this match these over here the number of elements yes it matches yes then i can multiply it so this is one way to know otherwise write the dimensions it's two cross three and three cross two so these two numbers must be equal if it was two over here then no you will not be able to multiply these matrices so then now we will just quickly see how to multiply this is the multiplication method but now i will tell you step by step look at the first the topmost uh, row the first row that is multiply with the first column but how do you do it 
it's always the elements this element will be multiplied with this element the first with the first that is over here then you need to add with the second to second the second uh, element over here and the second over here in this line and sorry and then the third and the third that's how we get it so you can see it is zero times minus one that's over here middle and last is three times nine that's over here so this is how we can do it then once that is done you must remember the order for the next one see the top first row but the second column of the second matrix now again this is the answer for it you can see it is minus two times zero zero times zero and three times three now going to the second row you need to multiply first with the first column then with the second one so this is how we multiply now you can see this five times two over here and so on same way we use it for all and then you just add them up over here uh, two times negative two is basically negative four over here over here will be plus zero and nine times three is 27 27 minus four is 23 and same way you can add them all up and you can find the answers this is the answer if you multiply now same b times uh, b multiplied by a so this would be your first matrix so now there are a few things to remember this will be first that is one two three three rows and two columns and this will be the second matrix let's see i'll write the dimensions over here it has two cross three so yes these two numbers match up so you can multiply oh i will just draw the top line over here and this one yes two and two so that is how the same method but it's always better to write this right side of the first matrix so just write it over here all the elements and then it'll be easier otherwise if you think of like this it'll be confusing so this is how we multiply see over here it's done same way and now you might be thinking okay so though we multiplied two and two over here it became three and three the thing about it is now there are three rows and two columns over here there are two rows and three columns now these two numbers must be equal right but can you see this the first digit that's three and the last digit over here this will be the dimension of the resultant matrix after you multiply that's going to be the answer see over in the previous one as well that is a and b you can see it was two cross three and three cross two so the final answer would be first and the last digit that is two cross two matrix this is it two cross two matrix that's how we do it now that's it and you know you can simply multiply them now over here you can see it's not possible b and a because the dimension of b is two cross two whereas a would be one cross two you can see if i'm multiplying this b and a it's not possible this do not match so not possible to be multiplied whereas a and b is possible one cross two two columns over here and this is two cross two this matches so the answer is a times a b is given over here so this is how we can do it now all the uh, these all can be solved in calculator but this is not possible to be solved in calculator why because now let me just show you i will do this uh left side over here in the calculator all you need to do is press mode and then go to matrix that is option six and then you need to fill in the matrix a that is one and select the dimension that is three it is one cross two so one cross two is over here so let me select that now let me type it in three and negative five and once you have done that press ac after this please don't go to mode don't press more than six once the only for the first matrix you need to press more six and put it in after this all you need to do is shift and option number four now in order to fill the second matrix don't press this you need to press dimension you need to input the dimension of the matrix that is one for which matrix you want to fill in that is two 
And what's the dimension? It's 2 cross 3. So it is option 4. Now fill in the values. And 1, negative 3, 2. So all we need to do is, again, press AC. All the matrix, matrices are saved. You can check them. If I just want, go to Shift 4 and equal to. This is the first matrix. And Shift 4 and 4. This is the second matrix. Now to multiply, you need to press Shift 4. That is first matrix. Multiply it with the second matrix. That's it. So the answer is 7, 15 and minus 16. But let's try B and A now. Press on. Over here, Shift 4. First is matrix B, that is 4, B and A. Multiply it with A. Now, over here, you will get a dimension error because it's not possible to be multiplied. Now, I told this is not possible to be used in calculator because there are four dimensions. This is 1 cross 4. So, this is not possible to be multiplied in calculator. You need to know the mul multiplication method. So, what happens over here is it will be A. And this is equal, so it'll be 4 times 6, the first uh, value. The next one will be 4 times, oh, sorry, let me write it again. This and this, and over here, 4 times 1, 4 times, 4 times negative 10, 4 times nine and same with this goes over here and over here all the four you need to multiply it with five times six five times one five times negative 50 and so on and i just realized that i have made a mistake over here sorry for that because i i solved it by myself in a pen, pen and paper and uh, i just realized my mistake this is correct 24 this is supposed to be four i'll edit it now and it's negative 40, 4 times 36, that's correct. And again over here, 6 times 5, it's supposed to be 30 over here. 5 is right. And this is supposed to be negative 10. Yes, it's correct. And four times 5 times 9 is 45. Sorry, these two were wrong. I'll just edit it. But I hope you understood the method. If you understood the method, it's very simple to solve. But now, B times A is not possible. Why? Because this is... 1 cross 4 and the other matrix is 2 cross 1. These two do not match, so it is not possible to be multiplied. So this is how we multiply basic matrices. And try solving it by yourself and check the answers later on.